Hello, CR from 1UP Boys here with another history of a character that I've always been wanting to learn more about. Nightmare, the Azure Knight. A couple of the questions I had were answered, though there were some new questions made as well that I don't know if they'll ever get answered, as the series is now in reboot mode. But overall, I found a lot of interesting facts that I'd like to share with you all. Welcome to the History of Nightmare. How he was created. Nightmare was partially created for Soul Blade in 1995 by Koji Mitsunaga, and can be seen in Siegfried's No Input Ending, and even as an unlockable character, simply named Siegfried with an exclamation point. He was fully designed and implemented in Soul Calibur, but his design changed many times before they were able to get to what we have today in the first Soul Calibur. He didn't even truly become his own character until around Soul Calibur 3, as before he mostly shared his entire moveset with Siegfried. This gave him a much more aggressive approach to how he fought, showing off devastating power and punishing opponents' mistakes harshly. As for the name meaning, I mean there could be a couple, though mostly obvious. To me, it's either just referencing how it's essentially Siegfried's nightmare being trapped in this being, or a nightmare for the whole world that he even exists. Nightmare's look. His design actually changes a good bit throughout the games, usually influenced by Soul Edge itself. In the first two games, he's basically possessing Siegfried, and still has some human qualities, even getting some red hair in the second game. In the third, he gains his own body and no longer leads Siegfried, growing more demonic looking as his right arm transforms more grotesquely. The fourth shows Inferno completely corrupting Siegfried's discarded armor, filling it with its own evil energy, with the grotesque arm becoming more metallic. Five and six more or less recall his design in the second game with some very minor differences. Personality Nightmare's one goal throughout the series was to kill in order to essentially farm souls in order to restore Soul Edge. He's described as violent, emotionless, and ruthless, not really caring about what happens to his followers one way or another, even considering to kill Tira. His quest for destruction is only partially quenched when he possesses a man, implied to be Raphael, and naming himself Raph Dumas. He opts to rule over the people instead of continuing his rampage, which could mean the person he possesses might have a small influence on what Nightmare does, but very, very slightly. It could also just be that it was needed for the story. Abilities. Alright, so Nightmare's abilities are absolutely fucking bonkers, and I honestly don't know how some of the other characters even do battle with him without instant death. He's been shown to defeat entire armies all at once, without even having a fully powered Soul Edge, and completely destroyed Ostrinsberg Castle in one swing of a sword. He can use an ability called Soul Wave that drains the souls of everyone in a wide area, can create two weaker clones, potentially revive someone who has shards of Soul Edge inside them, teleport, leaving an explosion in his wake, cut through dimensions, and even become so powerful that Solich essentially possessed the entirety of Ostrinsburg City, which just standing in would drain your soul. Even upon defeat of the host body, Inferno will appear and fight, or through manipulation of any wounds sustained by the Soul Edge, will attempt to get the victor to grab it to make them a new host. Games he's been in. Like I said, his technical first appearance was in Soul Blade in 1996 for PS1. His first true appearance was in Soul Calibur in 1998 for Arcades and Dreamcast. Two for Arcade, GameCube, Xbox, and PS2 came out in 2002. Three came out in 2005 for Arcades and PS2. Legends for Wii came out in 2007. 4 came out in 2008 for PS3 and Xbox 360. Broken Destiny came out in 2009 for PSP. 5 came out for PS3 and Xbox 360 in 2012. 
Lost Swords and Unbreakable Soul, both came out in 2014 for mobile. And finally, Six came out in 2018 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Nightmare has only appeared in two other games, Semicom Dungeon Druraga in 2000 for Game Boy, which is in a JRPG franchise called the Babylonian Castle Saga. The only other thing was the mobile card game Outcast Odyssey. Voice Actors His voice actors on both sides have pretty much changed for each numbered game with nine different VAs. Starting with the English VAs, in Soul Calibur 2, we have Ted D'Agostino. Patrick Ryan was the next VA for 3. Michael McConaughey was his VA in Legends and 4, also known for voicing Ashtroth in the series, Bartra in The Seven Deadly Sins, and Hatsuma in Blue Exorcist. His next VA, Charles Klausmeyer in 5, was also known for Raphael in the series. His last English VA is Kirk Thornton in 6. He has voiced Yamashiro in Perfect Blue, Klein in Sword Art Online, and Hanza in Ninja Scroll. His first and most recent Japanese VA is Nobuyuki Hiyama in 1, 2, and 6. He's also known to voice Yoshimitsu in the series. Fumihiko Tachiki was the next VA in 3 known as Gendo in Evangelion, Harada in Mob Psycho 100, and Taizo in Gintama. For Legends and 4, Kosei Hirota was his VA. His final voice actor was Yasunori Masutani in 5, also known for Orca in Dot Hack, Mr. Disco in One Piece, and Cho Gu Sung in Psycho Pass. Extra Info While Nightmare is nicknamed the Azure Knight because of his dark blue armor, his early Soul Blade armor was actually more crimson. Another difference in this early design is that his left arm was mutated instead of his right arm. This was changed possibly to show more juxtaposition between Nightmare and Siegfried, as Nightmare uses his Y-hander in his left, while Siegfried wields it in his right hand. His stages are Ostrinsberg Castle in 1, Ostrinsberg Chapel in 2, Lost Cathedral in 3, Tower of Remembrance Encounter in 4, Tower of Remembrance Omen in Broken Destiny, Denever Castle Assault in 5, Legendary Souls Mode, and Ostrinsberg Castle Hall of the Chosen in 6. I do want to mention, I tried for like 3 hours to get the Siegfried Nightmare in Soul Blade. I straight up got all the weapons, even Soul Edge, and he didn't unlock, and I have no clue why, so oops, sorry about that. Learning about this character was pretty cool, and there's still many, many more characters to be learned about. So keep a lookout for pretty much every Sunday for more of these kinds of videos. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.